Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's form. And today we have a Yeezy. Let's celebrate, celebrate. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not the song, is it? How does that go? Celebrate. Anyway, all right. Um, yeah, I did just uh, one a half marathon uh, as training. Uh, so I which is like 13 miles or 21k or something uh, and it is negative six degrees outside so I couldn't feel my fingers for about two hours well during the during the run and also two hours afterwards uh, so it's taken me a lot uh, a little while to kind of catch back up man my body just I'm all these things take a while to heal uh, to to um, recover but I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, and yeah, today we have 3314, construct the minimum bit rise array 1. You're given a, an array nums uh, consisting of n prime numbers. You need to construct an array such that uh, for each index i, the bit rise or of n, of n sub i and n sub i plus 1 is equal to num sub i. Additionally, you must minimize each value of n sub i in the resulting array. I mean, okay. If it's not possible, then okay. Um, hmm. Oh, uh, well, they only go to a thousand. So having only a thousand means, well, you only have to check a thousand. Oh, yeah, up to a thousand numbers. You can probably pre-calculate these as well, by the way. But I mean, I'm not. Go uh, I don't think you need to, but you can, right? Because there's only a thousand possible answers, kind of. Well, I mean, and you know, you have to pass them into the input. But otherwise, yeah. Um, the main observation is that if you have a number like, I don't know, what's an example? Seven. Um, yeah, if you have a number like seven, if you go to seven or seven plus one, it's going to be bigger, right? Just by definition. Um, and as a result, that means that ca that cannot be the answer. That means that if you check every number before that, uh, then that should be fine. Also, because after that, um, you know, you get a bigger number anyway than seven. You probably could even choose like, um, it's probably something like uh, if you have for number x, you probably can uh, 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 check for x. Uh, oh, I was gonna say x over two, but apparently I'm wrong here. Because nine or nine plus oh, okay. Well, but anyway, up to x is fine, I suppose. So, yeah, so here maybe we get um, just go f of x, right? So then now we just go for i in range from one to maybe inclusive just to be safe. If i or i plus one is equal to x, then we return i, right? And that's it, otherwise, we return negative one, and then we have for x in nums. Uh, we've answered that a pen f of x and we are Gucci. I'm about to initiate, of course. But yeah, um, yeah, hopefully I didn't mess something up. But um, it's supposed to be easy after all, so don't overthink it. Um, there are some optimizations that you can play around with, but I think this is fine. This is a good thing for me to take a break on. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Just gonna keep the video short today and just go back. To resting. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.